Hi everyone, I'm making bath bombs and probably not one of the more exciting videos, but I thought maybe you'd like to come along and watch. Um, I already have my, <laughs> this is really heavy. <laughs> this is baking soda, my citric acid, my cream of tartar, and my own dried goat milk, which I'm very proud of because I was able to get about 20 pounds out of my uh, last order. And that is, makes me so proud of my girls. Uh, you know, I try to use fresh goat milk in my soaps as often as I can. And I am just really proud. Uh, my girls have been very prolific this year and have been providing a lot of wonderful goat milk. And so much, in fact, that I was able to send it out to a local farmer who has a dairy and is able to dry it. They have large industrial dehydrators and because I make them goat milk products, they're happy to dry it for me. And I couldn't be more grateful because for these kind of things, I just would prefer to use my own. I know that you can purchase dried goat milk at a very reasonable price uh, from you know, different companies. And I think that that's wonderful. And if you can do that, that is terrific. Um, I personally, since I already have goats, uh, am in on much more of a limited budget now that I'm retired uh, from my job. I have to be a bit more careful. All I'm doing now is just blending the different things because when I put them in there, I always put them in there in order of baking soda, citric acid, cream of tartar, and then my goat milk but I want them nicely blended. And now, of course, it wouldn't be a oat, uh, goat milk, uh, oats and honey without the oats. So, one moment here. There we go. These are our colloidal oats. And again, I'm just blending everything together. I find that I get much smoother bath bombs if I do this, if I sift them together. Because I want every bath bomb to have an equal amount of everything, of all the goodness, right? Not just the citric acid and baking soda, but the oats, the goat milk, everything. And I'll do this three or four times. I just like to try to make sure that everything is well blended. I try to scoop it up from the bottom. And if you have a machine that does this, more power to you. <laughs> I have to do these things by hand. I hand make my bath bombs. I don't have one of those real nice, um, air compressor ones. Those look just wonderful, but they're quite expensive. And uh, I just never did get into, uh, I, I don't sell that kind of volume. Even when I do go to market, 
Bath bombs have not been a big part of it. I only make these as a rule. Um, they're the more popular ones that I have sold in the past. Now I've done others. I've done a apple cider vinegar one. And of course this one, uh, I've done a lavender one done with some, my uh, homegrown lavender. I've done rose ones. Uh, but this, these are the standbys that really seem to be the most popular. Okay, I think we've got a good blend here. So now we'll get our honey and our oil and get that added in now. Right. Honey, delicious wildflower honey. You know, the first bath bombs were made in the 1980s, but even before then, people found ways of bringing pleasure to the mundane. And even back in my grandmother's day, she did not have running water in her home. She had to go out to a well, drop a bucket down on a chain, and pull up buckets of cold icy water, then heat them over a wood stove, and do this dozens of times to fill up a large galvanized tub where she would take a bath. Or on those few times when I got to visit as a kid her home, uh, I got to actually take a bath that way. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much work it really was, you know, for her. But the reason I bring that up is that even then she made it fun. She would mix up a little bit of vinegar and some baking soda and pour that in the water to create that fizzy, fun uh, goodness to the bathtub. And it was probably an early version of what you might call a bath bomb or bath sprinkles. Uh, and for me, it was just a lot of fun. So now, at my old age, or the beginnings of old age, to be able to create things like this and share with other people so that they get a similar kind of joy just makes me very happy. Pressing these by hand makes me feel like I'm putting a little bit of me into this. It's not just loading up a machine and pressing them. And there's nothing wrong with that. And a lot of people do do that. And probably if I had the business and sold hundreds of these, sure, I would have to move up to something like that. But I'm a small little operation and bath bombs are a very small, small part of what I do. Uh, even when I go to different markets, there are other people selling bath bombs and I don't really impinge upon that. That's their thing and I would never take away from that. Uh, I sell plenty of other products that they don't sell. So that's just my way of looking at it. Uh, but there's plenty of room for everyone to do whatever you take joy in doing. And I really do make these because people have asked me for them. Uh, it is an effort to put these together, of course. It's not hard. But it's something that you do have to do. It gives me a little time to think while I'm doing them. It can be relaxing, actually, because it's a very slow process. I make them one at a time, as you can see how I put them together. Um, it's, it does take a lot more time than it would be using a bath bomb press. And so this gives me an opportunity to think about the day, uh, to dream a bit and to maybe infuse some of that love and that affection into each one of these because they are handmade and they are hand formed and that means a little something extra to me and I think to some of you and 
I decided to do a video showing this one because it is not a, big, a showy bath bomb. It's not multiple colors. It doesn't don't leave glitter in the tub or any of those things. It's simply goat milk, oats, and honey, right? Those are the ingredients that I really want to highlight in this or just the goodness of those things. And I think soaking in a tub with these is so relaxing. Makes me feel just tremendous. Uh, if your skin is irritated or dry, or if you just need a little bit of rejuvenation, I think these are just marvelous for that. I'll have these in the shop this over the weekend. I'll try to get these listed in the shop if you're at all interested in them. There they'll be. Um, I'm going to put together a few others as time permits. Uh, I really am putting a lot of time into the Etsy shop. Sales are good. I've got uh, a lot of shipments I've got to get out this week, and that's a lot of fun for me. Um, uh, well, shipping is not the most fun aspect of it, of course. It's something we have to do, sort of like the dishes, right? It's part of the work. I really am happy that you decided to join me on this journey today. It's always great having you with me. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.